have any new people today? We're two. New first timers? Let's see. I'll try it. Okay, let's see. Okay, keep your hand up because I'm going to give you some information. Let's see if we do it this way. Yeah. Now, if she talks, you can turn the volume up. Oh, okay. This way. Let's Good. see. Oops. Can I get some help? Who's, okay. who's available to Thank help? Thank you, Don. Um, I appreciate that. So, so everybody that has their hand raised, would you give them one little packet? I'll take one here. I'll take one there. That's on there. That's for another stuff. Here I have a here or here? Okay. No, what next to you? Ready? Yeah. Well, who else is now? All three of those taken. I'm going to give you a little packet of information. All right. Are you? Oh, we're not here. You're one of the old guys. You've been around here for what? Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to be No. Okay. And again, my. Um, I'm going to want to know if you have, if you'd like to borrow a listening device. There's some seats over here. No? Anybody? No? Okay. Right up here. You can sit right up here. <laughs> but but you have to be extra careful. Alex. Alex. I got one. Oh, you got one? Okay. Thank you very much. This is hazardous. You can come up here. There's another. There's two chairs here. Would you like to come up? But I want you to be very careful here. Well, I can see the room is just about full, so welcome to everybody. For all you new people, my name is Tony Variant, and I have a hearing loss. And no, this is not AA, just tell them the truth. <laughs> And um, very, very short story about me. I started losing my hearing when I was 20. I was 20. And I think it was because of rock and roll. A lot of music, noise-induced hearing loss. So there's a lot of reasons why somebody gets hearing loss. And I think that's where my hearing loss journey began. Um, I had a lot of problems working. I got fired from a job one time because I was the receptionist. I didn't take a message correctly. I didn't get the phone number right. So it happens. So it happens. Um, about 15 years ago, I went to work. I was. people with hearing loss. So when you see captions on your TV, when you see that uh, smartphones, um, landline phones are hearing aid compatible, it's because they did that. They are working on, they voted in favor of um, over-the-counter hearing aids, which will be happening sometime soon. Um, as soon as the FDA decides to get in there and regulate it. Um, 
then the, um, they're also working on captioning of videos on the internet. Uh, there's, there's really a lot of projects and things they're working on for us. And that's the only organization that is working for us. So I worked there for almost 10 years. And, and that's why I'm standing in front of you now. When I came to Laguna Woods, they had a hearing loss support group. It was called the Hearing Impaired Club. I didn't like that name, so I changed it to Hearing Well. Um, and, but the, uh, the gentleman who is still to this day a very good friend of mine, um, he lives in Atlanta, Georgia. He, Woody Butler, I don't know if anybody remembers Woody Butler. I think he's 92 years old. Now, um, we play Word with Friends over the internet every day. <laughs> anyway, uh, he, had, he was the president of the Hearing Impaired Club for almost 20 years, and then he retired and there was nobody to take over. So I offered to do that. And I'm just bringing my experience of 10 years with the Hearing Loss Association of America with me. So that's why I'm here. And I always get a little long-winded. And today is not going to be any exception. Because I have so many things I want to tell you. And I'm afraid if you don't come back, you're not going to get it. So I've got to get it in now. Caption Call is, is a major sponsor of this, of the Hearing Well Club. They sponsor the captions that you see. Laura Callahan is a uh, court reporter trained to do captions. And uh, there's a monthly charge for that. And Caption Call pays for this. And so you probably want to know, well, why would they do that? Well, after I retired from the Hearing Loss Association of America and moved back to California, I worked for Caption Call. And there's quite a few of you in the room that got a Caption Call phone from me. I installed it in your home and showed you how to use it. Who, who here? Yeah, there we go. See, it's quite a few people. OK. So I had a relationship with them, and they agreed to support me in my efforts here. Um, the caption call phone is a, is, looks like that. It captions everything your caller is saying. It requires internet. It requires a landline phone. Not a landline phone as much as a, a landline telephone carrier. So that could be AT&T, but it could be Vonage, it could be UMA, um, it could be, there's, there's quite a few voice over IP companies, it could be one of those. Um, you have to have a certification of hearing loss from your hearing aid provider. I have those forms with me today, and we have a professional in the room that if you're wearing hearing aids and it's obvious that you are a person with hearing loss, then she will sign that form for you. For those of you who missed the caption call meeting two months ago, this is a brand new version of the phone. It has a speaker phone. It has a built-in answering machine. And so if you have one of the older units, you can upgrade. You just simply need to call them. It's part of a federal program that pays for the captioning service. Um, technically, you pay for it. And, uh, on the bottom of every phone bill, there's a little tax for universal lifeline, uh, telecommunications, and it's that money that pays for the captioning service. It's not 100% free, but everybody pays in their phone bill, whether it's a cell phone or it's a landline, everybody pays into that fund. Okay. Uh, smartphone training, I want you to know about smartphone training. I have sponsored, the Hearing Well Club has sponsored several sessions 
This is um, California Telephone Access provides telephones, not captioned ones, but telephones, amplified phones for people with hearing loss. They also provide phones for people with mobility issues, speech issues, um, just about any disability that would have a difficulty on the phone. They have a solution, they have a phone, and that is also provided at no charge. That is a state program. There's also a little tax on your phone bill for that. Uh, that's the phone number. If, if you're interested in basic training for either an iPhone or an Android phone, you can call this number or email and find out where they are scheduled in South Orange County. Yeah, in our area. How is it different from the yeah. caption call? Um, here now, U.S. Oh, you have a question? Are you saying that I do not need a landline? I can use a, a cell phone with caption call? No. I cannot? No. I have to have a landline. You have to have a landline, yes. Um, here now, U.S.A. Uh, Rick is not here today. Rick is, represents Here Now USA. He's also a sponsor. Rick installs hearing loops. So we have a hearing loop in this room. And those people that have hearing aids, that have a telecoil, just needs to switch on their T-coil program and they hear me right in their hearing aids. And I usually talk a lot about that because this is one of my passions. But instead, I have provided that little packet of information to all the new people, and that provides information about what telecoils are, what a hearing loop is. I want you to know that 80% of hearing aids have a telecoil. It just needs to be adjusted by your uh, hearing aid provider. And that information is in your packet. And also, for people that need a reminder, um, I have flyers in the back. OK. It, it really helps to maximize the many features in your hearing aids. So uh, there's lots of places that have hearing loops. The biggest complaint that I hear is uh, churches can't hear in church. Lord, I know you want me to hear you. <laughs> but it's just, it's just not possible in, in churches. Um, in our community, Geneva Presbyterian Church, their sanctuary is looped. The uh, Church of the Cross, the Lutheran Church, is looped. And so what it means when you go into those places, you just need to just flip your little switch on your hearing aid or your cochlear <laughs> implant and you will hear right in your ears, right through your hearing aids. Okay, so here in Laguna Woods Village, I've provided a list for you of all the places that have hearing loops, like Clubhouse 7, Clubhouse 2, the towers in their multi-purpose room, and um, the boardroom is looped. So all that information is listed on the flyer. See, I'm getting into it, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, Rick also provides hearing loops for your TV room. I have one in my TV room. I have one in my office, and I have one in my bedroom. So when I go in and turn on the TV, I just put on my um, T-Coil program, and none of my neighbors hear my TV, and I don't have to blast it. It's a wonderful experience. Okay. Ann Mundell Noel, she's our audiology advisor. She's our presenter today. Um, but I, I have her up here because she is here at every single meeting. She's available to talk to you. Um, when people ask me questions that I can't answer because I'm not a licensed professional, I go to her. She makes herself available. And so I provide good information. Uh, Hearing Well Club membership, $15 per household. That's going to be changing the first of the year. But for right now, 
It's $15 per household. Um, you get a permanent name tag, and that's how you know you're a, a member. And this year, it's got a yellow dot on it, on the tag. It helps to support the club's rent, which is getting higher and higher. Copies, refreshments, and office supplies. And there seems to be a lot of that. OK. Ah, this is a close-up of the phone. Kind of neat. All right. Here's some facts. This is especially for the new people. Uh, first of all, there's 48 million people in the United States with hearing loss. So you're not alone. Um, the part that's highlighted, nearly 25% of those aged 65 to 74 and 50% of those who are 75 and older have a disabling hearing loss. That information comes from National Institutes for Health in Washington, D.C. So if you have a hearing loss and you're in this room, you're not alone. I want you to know about videos on demand. We're recording this meeting. And starting the beginning of the year, we started uh, videotaping all of our meetings. And they're available online on demand. Somebody emailed me right before the meeting today and asked me if it was going to be on Village TV. And I'm, I'm sorry, we're, we're not going to be on <laughs> Village TV. But when you have time, an hour, to sit down and watch a meeting, you can go to YouTube, search for Hearing Well Club, and find um, the meeting that you missed. The first, the first one uh, this year was the Consumer's Guide to Purchasing Hearing Aids. It's really worth going back and looking at that one, because I won't do that again until next year. So first timers, that's an important um, meeting to watch. Oh, also for those people that live in Laguna Woods, on the, um, the first Tuesday of each month, I do about six minutes on this day, which is on between 8.30 and 9.30, and talk about the upcoming meeting. So I put those, um, those on YouTube as well. So this is, this is the, the Hearing Well Club channel on YouTube. And you notice there's a, a red button over there that's, you can't read it now, that says subscribe. If you subscribe to the Hearing Well Club channel, you'll get an email whenever I upload a video. So I'm hoping the video, today's video, hopefully will be ready by Thursday sometime. So if you, if you subscribe to the channel, then you'll get a, a notice the minute it's up. Oh, and also the Hearing Well Club, we have a website. It's got a ton of information. There's one section that even has uh, a glossary of terms. Curse. Like, does, who knows what CART means? CART, C-A-R-T, Computer Assisted Real-Time Translation. And that is, that's the technical word, that's the buzzword, the industry word for captions, live captions. Uh, this is a sign, I've um, got one here too. Whenever you see this sign with a T in it, that means that the um, audio system is connected to a hearing loop and you can use your T coil in that room. And these stickers are available um, to put on your door or your window. Um, it's especially good here in Laguna Woods Village for first responders or the mailman or somebody who's trying to get your attention and you're not answering. When they see that, they know they need to knock a little harder or ring a little longer. Okay. Oh boy, seven reasons why you should wear your hearing aids every day. You need to keep your brain stimulated. Really important. So all day, every day. For safety, improve your love life. <laughs> Enjoy social activities. Economic stability, that's for the working people. Communicate with healthcare professionals and improve your overall quality of life. Okay, future meetings. 
Our next meeting, June, we're going to have an ice cream social. So instead of coffee and cookies, we're going to have ice cream with toppings and all of that. And we do this every year. It's our last meeting of the season, the first half of the year. We, um, will be dark in July and August. We're also going to have some assistive device <laughs> demonstrations. So I've asked Serene Innovations to come and, and demonstrate some listening devices for home TV, um, alarm clocks, uh, notification systems, um, Everything will be pertinent to people with hearing loss. Okay. Uh, October the 9th, Stephanie Rose. Um, she is an audiologist from House Ear Clinic in Orange, and she'll be coming and talking about cognitive decline and hearing loss. There is a strong correlation, and it would be helpful for you to understand that, especially if you're on the fence about wearing hearing aids. You really need to do that. November, we're going to prepare for the holidays. It's always difficult for everybody. But if you're a person with a hearing loss and you're seeing family that you haven't seen in a couple of years, you're meeting grandkids and you can't hear them, there's a lot of tips that, that will be provided uh, to help you get through the holidays. And December the 11th, we'll have a holiday celebration and, and a surprise of some kind that I will plan. Okay. Um, okay, we need volunteers, we need some greeters. I'd like to have somebody handle membership, publicity, refreshments, and help with name tags. So if you would like to assist, we sometimes have people that, um, we have some very dedicated volunteers, which I appreciate, but sometimes they go on vacation or they become sick, and we need a little extra help, so. All right, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it through, well, uh, it did take a long time. All right. Um, also, the, the last thing is we do need your help with donations. Um, I, I'm saying this now. Wow. Hello, Leland. I'm saying this now um, because after the program, after the presentation, everybody ja just just gets right out of here. So I thought I would say now, it's really important. Um, the Hearing Well Club is not tax exempt. We're in the process of applying for nonprofit status, tax exemption. The fee, the filing fee to, to apply is $600. So we need, just, I need some help with that because um, we don't have very much money in the bank. Okay, 